Welcome to MathKey. In today's video, I'm going to show you some important skills that you will need in mathematics. Adding positive and negative numbers. Generally, a number can either be positive or negative. For instance, the number 3 is positive because it has an invisible plus sign right at the front. Similarly, the number minus 8 is negative because it has a minus sign at the front. So you can see right here that there is a negative operation in front of the number 8. In the course of this video, I'm going to show you how you can operate a negative number with a positive number or a negative number with a negative number or a positive number with a negative number. Let's get started and see how this is done. So let's just say we have negative 5 plus 2. There are so many approaches to this question, but I'm going to teach you a very simple approach called the use of number line. A number line is just a type of line that has a set of natural numbers. To the right of the number line are the positive natural numbers, and to the left of the number line are the negative natural numbers. I'm just going to teach you how to draw a number line. First of all, we'll draw a straight line, we'll mark the center and call it zero. The next thing is for us to partition the line into equal intervals, just like this. And after this, we'll number the intervals. So, like I said earlier, to the right of the number line are the positive natural numbers. So, let's start counting. So, we'll call here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Then to the left, we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. There is an important thing I want you to understand when it comes to the use of number line. If we are adding to a number on the number line, we will count to the right. However, if we are subtracting from a number on the number line, we will count to the left. Now, let's go back to our question. What we are just going to do here is locate our negative 5 on the number line. From there, we will count two more intervals to your right. Remember I just said, if you are counting to the right, that means you are adding. Okay, so let's see how it goes now. One, two. So you can see that negative five plus two is just negative three. So what if we start with plus two? The answer will still be very, very much correct. All right, all we need to do here is just to locate two on the number line and subtract five. Subtracting means you are counting towards the left. So let's see how it goes. We count from 2, 1, leftward, remember, because we are subtracting. 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, the value is negative 3. So it doesn't matter whichever way you are counting from. Whether you want to start with negative 5 or you want to start with positive 2, in the end, the answer will still be the same. Again, let's say we have plus 4. Take away 6. What I will just do is to bring in the number line. You know how it came about. Remember that if we are adding to a number on the number line, we count to the right. But if we are subtracting from a number on this number line, we count to the left. What I'm just going to do is to locate the 4 on the number line. And do what? Count 6 intervals to the left. Because we have a negative 6 right here. Okay, so let's get started. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6. So you can see that the value is negative 2. This method does not only apply to only two numbers. We can also have numbers like this. Negative 3 plus 8, take away 2, take away 6. It doesn't really matter. All you need to do is just to take it two at a time. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. And the whole expression becomes 5, take away 2, take away 6. Then you take your next two. 5 take away 2, and that's 3. So everything becomes 3 take away 6, and 3 take away 6 is just negative 3. All right, you have just learned that on the number line, if you are adding to a number, you count to your right, and if you are subtracting from a number, you count to your left. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.